No Direction Home is the informal Soho Directors community. Find us at nodirectionhome.com. So this was just like one of a hundred auditions for creature parts, just for like trying to find people who would actually be able to embody a creature and that could be, be individual and iconic, hopefully, and scary. And, and this guy, Connor, the minute he did this, he had trained in animal movement. He had this whole way of moving that instantly was just beyond everyone else. And he, I knew he was going to be in. But there was contortionist ballet dancers, mountain climbers. So there was five different... We, I chose five, all for slightly different reasons. And there's, I'll just show you a couple of other clips. Um, but, but ask me yeah. just one question very quickly, yeah. which is like the, the, so this all costs money, right? You've got to like get people involved in, um, you know, sort of auditions yeah. and you have to get like choreographers and you're also you working with artists making yeah. maquettes and designing yeah, yeah, yeah. creatures. So, so, so I'm assuming that there was a level of development finance which had been procured before you got the rest of it together? Sure. Yeah, that's the hardest bit. I mean, you know, I guess trying to make a, a first movie with all of this stuff that you want to get practically created in pre-production on screen, ready and tested. That's, that's like the, the, the biggest area that I would say is the hardest and most lacking, because I guess back in the old days, they didn't have the visual effects to depend on, so it was part of the filmmaking process, whereas now, Basically, no, the financing wasn't closed and it was really hard to try and get great people involved. And there was, you know, some money, but not anywhere near enough to really get everyone. So it was sort of a case of certain trust and certain belief in the project to get good people involved. But I was just like, it's going to happen. <laughs> I've just got to keep going now. We're, you know, like you start when, you know, I really wanted to find someone who was talented and passionate about creating the practical effects. And he was fantastic. Who, who was John Nolan, who, who did, he's in uh, Stoke Newington, did an incredible task of taking on everything. Um, you know, I wanted to find the equivalent of a Rick Baker, Rob Bottin, Stan Winston, you know, Dick Smith character. And uh, not I didn't think I could afford to go for a, a big established effects house, of which there's not that many anyway. Um, and John has, he assembled a great team. But you know, it was, it was torturous because I knew he wanted to do the best job. He knows how much time needed to prep it. I wanted him to have that, and yet we were like in this sort of juggling trying to. So there was, you know, money got spent, but it was, you know, still just very difficult gamble to know you know whether we were definitely going to make the movie so all of this stuff was you know I knew that I needed to do it so I was just pushing on.